going to use the, the cut middle rib to add our line for decoration and then also one on the lip. We always go back in and clean it up with the sponge so there's no jagged edges. <clears throat> if you want to add a, a, that little ruffle on the inside of your platter, you can make the ledge a little wider. Soften it and then go back with a wet finger and, and push up the ledge. And we can take our um, wire and pull through. It gets a little tricky with your splash pan. This is our uh, platter ring that um, that we threw, and it's stiffened up. It's probably been about um, a, two hours since I threw it. I've left it uncovered. I'm going to pull that wire through. And so the ring is, is all the sheen is gone. And we're going to set it on a board to stif stiffen up a little bit more. So you're going to lift from one side and place on your board. And I usually do an, uh, an oval shape that has a little lift, a little bend here. You want to make sure that that um, ledge that you threw, or the the um, the base of this ring, is going to be nice and flat against your board. So that way, when this stiffens up, it'll be easily placed on the slab of clay. So we just want to angle that the right way, and then you you can go around and just softly press your edge down evenly. So we've come back to this piece um, leather hard and we'll just do a little decorating. Um, I have a serrated rib cut in half that um, is easy to draw with. Let's do a little flower decoration. The glaze will look nice on that. So we'll let this set up and then um, wipe it with a little um, damp sponge just to get the little ed sharp edges off.